tell y'all what's going on. I'm back at Starbucks. Hopefully, it don't take me a long time to get something because I have to be to work in a little bit. So, let's see what's being today. Um, let, let me let me try your uh, vanilla bean cream grande. have a dopio espresso on the side that is all thank you so I'm getting the grande grande vanilla bean cream hope it's good that's the first time i actually remember the drink i was ordering <laughs> but yes i'm ordering a medium vanilla bean cream and y'all know i always have to have my dopio espresso shot on side see i'm a i'm a true starbucksian now i'm a true starbucksian because now i call it i don't say can i just have a double shot espresso on the side i say can i have a dopio because that's what it's called baby i am a true starbucksian okay so kudos to me okay so we're gonna get this drink um I'm gonna try while I'm driving because I ain't gonna have time to park and sit and do all that because I gotta hurry up and be to work for 10 o'clock p.m. Okay, so I'm gonna get this drink and I can't wait to give y'all my review of it. All right, y'all, this is the vanilla cream bean straight whiteness. <laughs> it's straight white, y'all. Like, there's no, there's no nothing to it. But I also have my Dopio Express on the side, so we are going to try it. Alright, y'all. Let's taste this real quick. It tastes like It's good. Not bitter. Um, not overly sweet. I honestly think, because when I seen her make this, it was so simple. It's good though. If you like vanilla, it's very, it's a very light flavor. Bitter, zero. Sweetness, four. Flavor, good. Would I get it here? Probably not. And that's only because I can make this at home. For almost eight bucks, I can make this at home. But, you know, I'm gonna put my dopey on here. So when I get to real life, we're gonna do it with the dopey on. All right, y'all, let's try it with the dopey on. It's like a, a light ice cream. Oh, that made well, that made it dark. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Y'all, that dopey old hit my mouth. Like a wrecking ball. Let me tell y'all what it tastes like now. It don't even it don't even taste like vanilla no more. That vanilla was so light in flavor. It tastes like a straight like iced coffee. Bitterness zero. I know I said the sweetness was a four, but I give a sweetness the sweetness of three. It, it wasn't sweet at all, but it was flavorful. Um, I love the light hint of vanilla. Would I get it again? No. And like I said, it's only because I feel like that something like that I can make at home. When I looked at when I looked at her mate, when I yeah my, my mouth numb from it being cold. When I looked. Um, 
at her while she made it. I'm like, that's all she did? I'm like, I can make that at home, you know. So, that's all the reason why I wouldn't order no more. But, you know, if you, you know, lazy and don't want to make it yourself, um, I would recommend this drink if you like a light hint of vanilla. Of course, it's not for those who are lactose intolerant because she didn't use milk. So, but yes, um, that is my review. Oh, my review of the whole drink, I give it, I give it a six and a half. Because it's not a bad drink. Um, it just it really wasn't nothing to it. You know, it wasn't no coffee flavor, no nothing. It's just vanilla. So, yeah, that's my review, six and a half. Um, if y'all are considering getting the, what did I say, the vanilla bean cream or whatever, whatever I said in the beginning, um, just go to Starbucks and order it. And I'll have, uh, of course, the name of it and the title, and I'll probably get the, you know, the ingredients of what's all in it off of Starbucks. So, that is my review, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.